Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing regarding range object, which is the representation of cell or cells in your workbook. This is the most important object of Excel VBA. Here I will discuss different ways of giving range, selection function, clear function, and count property of range. For that, first let me insert the module. And let me start the subroutine whose name is a file. Now I will show you differences in representation for cell and range. So now suppose if I want to insert a number in range A1, then I can write as range A1 dot value equals to 1 and suppose if I want to insert a number in cell 1 comma 1 then I can write it as cells 1 comma 1 dot value equals to 2. Now let me run this code and show you. Inserting the one number in range A1 and inserting two number in cell one comma one now both of these codes are same second way of representation is very useful when you are looping now let me just delete this now if we want to give input to a set of rows in particular column, so for example, if I want to give a number in range starting from E1 to E4, then I can give it as range E1 to E4. dot value equals to 10. Now let me run this code and show you. So we have inserted a number 10 in the range starting from A1 to A4. Now if we want to insert a number in the range starting from C2 to E3 then we can Make the changes in here C two two B three and let me run this code. So it has inserted a number in the matrix two cross three, that is two rows and three columns. Now there is one other way of representing of the range. In this, we have to declare a parameter and then give a range to that parameter. So let me first define a variable test as range and set. So if we want to give range to any parameter we have to write set and then we have, can give a range to that parameter so range a a1 to b4 so a1 to d4 now i can insert the number in this range so i can do it as test dot value equals to three. Now let me run this code. So I have inserted three number in the range starting from A1 to D4, that is a four cross four matrix. Now if we want to select this matrix what we have to do is we have to just write test dot select 
and let me run this code and show you. So it is selecting the text range. Now suppose if I want to select any particular row in the test, then I can write it as test dot row second dot select. Now this command line will select second row in the test matrix. Let me run this code and show you. And it is selecting the second row. Similarly, if you want to select the second column, you have to write column. And it is selecting the column. Now, suppose if I want to clear the number three in range A1, then I can write it as a1 dot clear and let me execute the code so it will clear the content in the range a1 and it is clearing now there is one other way of clearing the content in the cell and the other way is by giving the empty value in that cell. So range A2 dot value equals to empty. And let me run this code. So it should remove or it should give the empty value to range A2. And A2 is having the empty value. So that's how you can clear the content in the range or cell. So let me first delete this code. And if you want to clear the content of all the cells, then you can write it as cells dot clear and this will clear the entire worksheet so clear now i will show you the count property of the range for that i have to define a range for that i will first define a parameter defining the parameter test as range and then I will give a range to this parameter. So set test equals to range A1 to B4. And then let me insert a value in this range test dot value equals to eight now i want to calculate the total number of cells that are there in test range and i will show that total number as a message so msg box test dot count let me run this code and show you so count, I'm inserting the value and then it is counting the total number of cells that are there. And there are 16 cells in the matrix that I have defined. Now, if you want to count the total number of rows, then you can write it as rows dot count. and it will show you the to total number of rows that are there in the test range so there are four rows similarly if you want to count the total number of columns then you can write it as columns and it will 
count the total number of columns that are there in test range. And there are four columns. So in this video, I have discussed different ways of giving range, selection method, clear method, and count property of the range. In next video, I will be discussing offset property of range and how we can generate pattern using that property. Thank you.